And will you look at that, we have Whitetail here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we are in Rancho Del Arroyo, newly reset Rancho, and today we're gonna be doing a Whitetail Zone Guide. We're gonna look at all the spots where you will now find Whitetail after the update. So Whitetail actually do not have a different drink time. They have the same drink time, and that is from eight until 11 or 11.30 in Rancho. But their zones have absolutely changed, and they are all over the place now. So let me show you where we are right here. So we are at the top right lake, really far away from civilization, and there are actually whitetail here. So definitely, if you're gonna come out here, bring a tent with you. It was about a 2K hike, it is very far. So stick around right to the end of the video, guys. I am gonna share a hotspot map with you, showing you exactly where every single zone for whitetail that I have found is located. And I will post that map to my Discord for you guys to easily reference. So by the time you're watching this video, guys, you will have a brand new, newly reset Rancho map. Some of the zones from before will stay and you will definitely have new zones to be discovered, but they will all have new animals in them. Nothing that was on your old map before the reset will be on your map now. Everything is new. Now, before we head in, guys, if you do enjoy today's video or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. Smash that like button. It is super amazing for the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. So thanks guys for that and let's head right into it. Now in today's hunt, I will be using the 308 from the new Modern Weapons DLC that came out today, February 22nd. But you can use any 4 to 8 rifle with Whitetail. I used to use the M1, I may use it some of the time, but any 4 to 8 rifle will do just fine. You don't want to do a lot of tracking. Now you're not supposed to shoot deer while you're setting up. I am going to be shooting deer because making a video with Whitetail with not shooting any is pretty boring. And then I will just have to come back and check every single zone. But when you are setting up, guys, you really shouldn't shoot any Whitetail. And the reason is, if you do, you will have to recheck every single zone. You could have a great one spawn in at a zone that you are not using or have discovered. So this is the Zarza 308. It is a four to eight rifle and I think it's gonna be absolutely fantastic for Whitetail. Now, I don't have a tripod up yet, so we're gonna take two. Beautiful. Okay, before I run over there, I am gonna drop a tent. Okay, guys, so before the update, we only found Whitetail on these eight lakes. This one right here, this is what I call OK Lake, Great Lakes, Boot Lake, Crab Claw Lake, Ghost Lake, Heart Lake, Lobster Lake, and Exclamation Lake. Those were the only eight lakes you would not find whitetail on any other lake. Well, that has all changed. So today we're gonna discover exactly where they're putting the whitetail now, and we are gonna put all those zones on a map and include it at the end of the video so you guys can easily find your whitetail zones. You won't have exactly the same zones as me, but they should be very, very similar. Now they are on way more than eight lakes. So the question is, how are we gonna get around to all of these whitetail spots with only 16 tents? The max you can put down is 16 tents and 32 tripods. So it is going to be interesting. Now, of course, you don't have to farm every single zone. Now I have one zone over here. So you'll wanna drop your tent 250 meters away, although this area is going to be very difficult to put a tent down because we don't have flat land. And when you put a tent down on land that isn't flat, beavers are way more likely to, you know what, take your tents away. So tents and tripods will cost you each $16,000 each. They are not cheap. You can get away with just putting tents down and add tripods later, guys. Just make sure you don't shoot more than three. The fourth kill will kill the zone when you're not using a hunting structure. Oh, I got a tripod down, yay! That's amazing. Alrighty, we have a couple bucks here and this guy is a silver. And if you are just seeing the 308 for the first time, the 308 has pretty amazing penetration. It is awesome. I think it's gonna be awesome for doing the whitetail grind and red deer as well. And that was a left lung liver and stomach shot from 122 meters with the Zarza 308. 191.4. Now whitetail go diamond at level two and level three guys, mostly at level three, but level twos definitely can make diamond as long as they have a trophy range that is diamond potential. Has 255 in the middle. 255 is diamond for whitetail. So this is where we found those whitetail there, top right lake. Okay guys, we are at Island Lake and there have never been whitetail here before, ever before. Now look across here 
and there's a whitetail zone. Holy, that's crazy. So they definitely have been redistributed. Whitetail are a class four species, guys, so you can use any four to eight rifle, but I will probably be using the 308 going forward. The question is, will the 308 dethrone the M1? It's kind of looking that way right now, but only time will tell. Okay, so we're gonna put out a call and we are using the grunt collar. This is my favorite collar for whitetail because it does get the most range. I find with the grunt you get about a 230 meter call, whereas with most other collars they only get to about 200 meters. Flat! All right there, double lung, 185 meter shot, and that is a just a silver, 158.5. And there's another zone, and there is a diamond potential whitetail there. Sweet, all right. And another zone, another max weight estimate whitetail. But geez, every zone seems to have one buck in it. That I don't like too much. All right, here he is, and he is a gold, sweet, 213.8. So with this update, guys, four maps are getting completely overhauled. Rancho, Savannah, Mississippi, and Quattro Colinas. So all of those maps are gonna have all new zone times for every species, and they will have different hotspots. So they're all gonna have to be rediscovered. So if you are doing a grind, definitely finding all your whitetail zones is number one on the list. And then what you wanna do is set up with tents and tripods, and then you can go ahead and start shooting those bucks. Now, I wouldn't shoot the level ones if you are doing your grind, guys. It is going to help you spawn diamonds sooner and hopefully that great one sooner. Doing a little bit of herd management, try to avoid shooting the ones if you can at all help it. All right, there's our big boy. All right, so we're gonna take these two here. I don't think he's actually a diamond, but he's nice. Beautiful, you should run, good idea. So on Island Lake, we've already found three zones, so good chance we have whitetail zones all the way around this lake. All right, so that's the smaller guy. He's a 167.7, and this guy is a 221. So he's not that big. He was diamond potential. He just had a big estimate, but he is a nice buck. Very, very okay, guys, we are now at W Lake. There has never, ever been whitetail here before. And we do have a zone here. Holy, they really are moving them around. And they are all absolutely tiny babies. That is unfortunate. All right, we have found another whitetail zone here on W Lake, and that is actually a pretty decent whitetail. And that is where it is, right there. Okay guys, we're out here at what we used to call the Great Lakes, and there used to be whitetail here, and I believe there still is. I do have a tripod underneath the lake. And generally what I do is I call a whitetail out and they come out into this field. But if you are gonna do that and you are hunting with your dog, get your dog to sit because he will spook the deer here. And we do have whitetail. Not very many, but there will be a zone in there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this buck, then I'm gonna run in there and pick up the zone from the need zone indicator. And then I will pick up my buck just so the need zone indicator does not vanish. Splat. So this is a great way to find zones. You don't have to find deer in their zones. If you just find the need zone indicator, that will give you your zone. And that's a big horn zone. That's not what we're looking for. Come on, gotta be a white tail drink zone here. Gotta be. And there it is. So even picking up tracks can give you your zone. You can absolutely run lakes after white tail have finished drinking and just pick up the need zone indicators like we just did and that will definitely give you your zones. You don't have to find whitetail in them to get your zones. And that is a really great way to find them. When you are looking for your zones, guys, keep your ears open, listen for mating calls, follow those mating calls. And when you do find deer, do not shoot them. Wait till they get into their zones, discover the zone, then you can shoot them if you want to. But if you are discovering your zones, you really should wait until you find all your zones first. And he is just a silver. One buck. Come on, give us some more deer, come on. So that is where we were right there, the Great Lakes. All right guys, we actually found a zone with a whole pile of deer in it. So some of your zones will stay on your map. This was not a newly discovered zone. So that zone was there from before the update and it is full of whitetail. So that is pretty sweet. So right now we are on Boot Lake so I don't think there's as many whitetail here as there was before. So I think they're just spreading them out, but there definitely is whitetail here. And this was a great zone in the past. And I do still have whitetail here and over here as well. Okay guys, you're not going to believe this. We are on the coast 
And there is Whitetail down here. Oh, never mind. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> okay, guys, so we actually just found a Whitetail zone on the coast. Can you believe that? So we're gonna run this entire coast, except for the ridgy areas. You don't have to search in here because those are mountain areas. So there cannot be animals there. So don't bother checking there. So I'm gonna run actually from the outpost all the way to the east and see what we can find. I think what they're doing is spreading the whitetail out more so that it prevents lag problems. That makes a lot of sense. Okay guys, so that takes us to the map. So what I have done here is indicated everywhere where I have found a whitetail zone after the update. So as you can see, they're at way more than the eight lakes that they were at before. They are still at those eight lakes. I don't have any at Heart Lake, which I used to have before. Check there anyways, guys, just in case you do have any there, but I don't have any there. So in total, guys, I have, I believe, 38 zones here, so I probably am still missing a couple, but that should definitely help you to get started in finding your zones. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? There are whitetail along the bottom coast. You definitely need to check there. All these lakes need to be checked. This lake on the right, top right corner. The only place you don't really need to look is the top left corner, guys. Any of the lakes up here, I did not find any whitetail at. You're welcome to have a peek, and if you do find any up there, please let me know in the comments, guys. I know everybody's maps are different, but this is what I have found. So I really hope this helps you to find your whitetail zones, guys. And when you do find them, you're gonna wanna set up your tents so that you can get to more than one zone with one tent because we only have 16 tents. So be creative as you can and spread those tents out. And when you're picking which zones you wanna farm, you wanna pick zones that are easily accessible that you can get to that are out in the open. You wanna pick your 10 best zones and just farm them. It's gonna be really interesting how this new whitetail grind goes in Rancho. So basically guys, if you are setting up a grind in Rancho after the update, step one, find your zone. Step two, set up with tents and tripods. Try to be able to access as many zones with one tent as you possibly can. Pick your best, most open zones to set up with. And once you have found all your zones, then you can start farming them. Go around and shoot your biggest bucks. You can shoot all the does if you wish, wipe out the whole zone. Sometimes that will cause the zone to come back even fuller, but it is those bucks that is gonna cause that great one to spawn. You wanna do this over and over and over again until you spawn that great one. And in so doing guys, you will spawn diamonds, you will spawn rares, and eventually that great one will come along. There is a lot of RNG, random number generating luck basically to it. And will you look at that? We found a level three whitetail. First level three since the update. So it may take you a couple hundred, it may take you several thousand kills or anywhere in between, but I wish you the best of luck. And this really is a fun grind and I really hope this guide helps you guys to put that great one whitetail in your lodge. Level three down, baby. And do we have our very first diamond white tail since the update? Come on, baby, looks pretty big. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, very sweet. Very first diamond white tail since the update with the new diamond metal. That is very awesome. So we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.